So unlike chili, pizza, and other, I've gone in. <laughs> and so, you know, that's me, some diversity here. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I am the candidate for Broad Green, so which is this area, all the way up to um, literally the Broad Green Avenue Road. And I, as I said in the video, I came to Croydon when I was seven years old. Um, my dad was, was a student, his, well, was a student um, in Cardiff, then he came to Croydon, and he thought, you know, he had a great chance here, it's a great place to raise your children. So up I came with my siblings. And being an 18 year old conservative, it's baffling to most people I see. They're like, you're young, you're black, <laughs> you live in Croydon North, how are you a conservative? <laughs> and, it's just, and I think most of the young people who ask me that, it's just they've been fed some, some kind of pseudo lie in which they feel like because they have certain characteristics, certain identities, they must vote a certain way. But then I told them, <coughs> independence, aspiration, so many of these young people on, on the street are looking for a chance to make it in the world. They're always looking for a chance to create the avenues to success. And that is what I think every, that's, that's in human nature. Humans are su successful creatures. And what we need, as, it, as everyone said so eloquently, a government or a kind of ideology that helps us. It doesn't hold us captive, doesn't hold our hand and drag us along, but it helps us achieve our goals. And that's one of the reasons why I'm passionate. Um, a bit about my family. Coming from Ghana, we do have, well, my uncle is a reverend in church, my dad's a pastor of the church, my sister's going to marry a reverend. Um, <laughs> but the, the whole thing about the whole Christian upbringing does really speak to me. I go to our Bishop Tennyson's Church of England School, just down the road somewhere there. And I think that the traits we see within our community, within Christianity, isn't only just kind of secluded to Christianity. You know, kindness, love thy neighbor, look out for thy friend, but don't fall fully to any kind of deviance or any kind of things that will push you away. That's one thing I'm passionate about. And I feel like young people, we may be swayed to the wrong side sometimes, we may be ignorant sometimes and very, very naive, but once we have that chance, once we have the opportunity to rise, we will rise like an eagle soaring above the sky. We, we are incredibly blessed to be where we are. And I want to do more. I want to get young people out from the PlayStations, away from the phones, out from the streets, helping the community boom. Just two weeks ago, I was down by West Coast um, train station, and there's a, there's a community group called Green Mountain, and they want to put the green back into poor green. So poor green is full of so many concrete buildings, a semi-concrete jungle, and just that kind of love and passion for where you live is, I think, what needs to be instilled in young people. Because it's, it's all good just growing up somewhere, but if you don't feel like you're part of the community, if you don't feel like this is where your home is, you'll show no respect to your home. And I wanna help my fellow young people change your perspective. And I hope, I pray, that coming May 3rd, whatever your political persuasion, obviously I hope you vote for us, <laughs> but whatever your political persuasion, do you get out and vote? Because as everyone has said, it's once a lifetime opportunity to make a great change. If you can't stand with a candidate, vote for the candidate you know or who you want to make a change in where you are. So please, get out there, get voting. Cheers. <laughs>